inviting me to this home in Washington. Pastor Karen and her husband are with out-of-state relatives, so we have the Deacons Joy Team are leading worship today, so there's a group of us today. Um, this is the final week of the summer series on Ephesians. Today we'll encounter the heart of chapter 6, the conclusion of this letter of faith. We will share three translations and three responsive prayers to help us play in the army God offers us in Christ and the Holy Spirit. Trusting God's promise of forgiveness, let us confess our sins against God and one another. Eternal God, our Creator, in you we live and move and have our being. Look upon us, your children, the work of your hands. Forgive us all our offenses and cleanse us from our proud thoughts and empty desires. By your grace, draw us near to you, our refuge and our strength. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit given to us. In mercy of Almighty God, Christ died for us while we still were sinners, and for his sake, God forgives all your sins. Amen. Holy God, your word feeds your people with life that is eternal. Direct our choices and preserve us in your truth, that renouncing what is false and evil, we may live in you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.
Our morning psalm is Psalm 34, 15 to 22. Please read responsibly. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from everyone. Evil will bring death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. As we were preparing for today, Pastor Karen was preparing with us, and she um, suggested to the deacons that um, we close our eyes. And she read these texts to us in three different versions. And she asked us to just think on what uh, phrases might stick out to us. So. We're going to do that today, and if you're comfortable, just close your eyes, and I'm going to 
we're going to take turns and read these slowly and um, just see what might um, stick out to you. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, and this is the New Revised Standard Version. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. Word of God, word of life. The response of prayer, God is at work. Love calms fear. Hope lifts despair. Kindness dances around hostility. God is at work. reading of Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 comes from the Good News Version. Finally, build up your strength in union with the Lord and by means of his mighty power. Put on all armor that the Lord God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. For we are not fighting against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world the rulers, authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. So put on God's armor now. Then, when the evil day comes, you will be able to resist the enemy's attacks. And after fighting to the end, you will still hold your ground. So stand ready, with the truth as a belt tight around your waist, with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes, the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times, carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put on out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one. And accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God as a sword which the Spirit gives you. Do this in prayer, asking for God's help. Pray on every occasion as the Spirit leads. For this reason, keep alert and never give up. Pray always for all God's people. And pray also for me, that God will give me a message that when, when I am ready to speak, so that I may bo speak boldly and make known the gospel's secret. For the sake of this gospel, I am ambassador, though now I am in prison. Pray that I may be bold in speaking about the gospel as I should. Our responsive prayer. God will build us up in union with the Lord. It is God's mighty power. It is our power. God's protection will defend us with truth and righteousness, proclaiming the good news in faith and salvation. God's word is our sword. The Spirit is our power.
The third version of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20 is from the message version. And that about wraps it up. God is strong, and he wants you strong. So take everything the master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use so that you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest that we'll walk away from and forget about in a couple hours. This is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. Be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get. Every weapon God has issued so that when it is all over but the shouting, you'll still be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, prayer is essential in the ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. And don't forget to pray for me. Pray that I'll know what to say and have the courage to say it at the right time. Telling the mystery to no one at all, the message that I, jailbird preacher that I am, am responsible for getting out. Response of prayer. God is strong. God wants us to be strong. Our master has set out what we need we will be able to stand in the face of evil. God is prepared for us. God has prepared help for us. Prayer will connect us to God's strength. Prayer will connect us to each other. Prayer will connect to God's word. That is all the armor we need. Thank you.
We'll now have our affirmation of faith. And you notice it's a little different than we've used before, so please follow along. We believe the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid. Your reward shall be very great. We believe that Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. We believe that David said to his son Solomon, Be strong and of good. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. We believe that an angel said to Joseph in a dream, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from your Holy Spirit, and to betroth, saying, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. We believe that Jesus said to those who would hear, Do not be afraid. You are more of value than in many sparrows. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is our Father's good pleasure to give you a kingdom. We believe that an angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. We believe that Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. We believe that Jesus said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, and the living. I am seated. I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys to death and to Hades. Peace of the Christ be with you always. And also with you. You'd like to share the peace with your neighbor? Go right ahead. There's spot down. At this time, if the ushers would like to collect the offering. And I understand that you have, Sunday School has an announcement to make. So I heard the little kids l last week talked about how we needed Sunday school teachers and I know that they were really cute and I probably can't live up to them but we got a few more Sunday school teachers but if we can get four more we would be set for the year so if you are feeling like you need to be a Sunday school teacher come and teach and me and Julie will be after getting coffee if you have any questions. Thank you. Do we have any of the ushers to take the offering?
Otherwise, you can just deposit in my bank account and be fine. <laughs> While we're waiting, I have a little bit of a qualification quiz for everybody. How many know how to turn on a remote for the TV on and off? Okay. How many can hit send and end on their cell phone? Okay, a few more. How many know how to hit the enter key on their keyboard for their computer? Okay, everyone that raised their hand, see me after service in the narthex, your perfect qualifications for the soundboard. <laughs> we are right now in very dire need of people. Starting when we go back to two services for the second service, we have one, me. Every Sunday I'll have to run it unless we can find more people to do it. We'd like to have four, and then we can get in a rotation of, you know, just have one Sunday a month is all you need to do. It's very simple, basically turning on and off and adjusting volumes, and that's the majority of the work you have to do, so it's not that tough. And the other need, I'm getting a signal from up there, they need video operators. So anybody that would like to try their hand at running the video, there's plenty of people that will teach you how to do it, so anyone who'd like to sign up, let. Kirsten, no, after, okay, then that's all I have. Okay, would you like to bring it forward? Please follow along with the offering prayer. Merciful God, to open wide your hand and satisfy the need of every living thing, we have set a feast before us. Or excuse me, you have set a feast before us. Open our hearts to embrace. Open our lives to live. Christ our Lord. We will now have our, our prayers of intercession. Trusting and loving in Almighty God, who abundantly provides the bread of life to all who hunger, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. That God bless the church, universal in every place, inspiring strength and courage to boldly proclaim the mystery of the gospel. Let us pray. God. That God the Creator bless wild animals and family pets, prairies and kitchen gardens, beaches and sandboxes, mountains and hearths, let us pray. That the gospel, God spread the gospel throughout the nations of the world, announcing the words of eternal life to people in every land and country, let us pray. That God remember the poor and the brokenhearted and rescue all those in trouble in any way. Bring healing and hope, including to those we name in our hearts before you. Let us pray. Have mercy on God. God. That God protects members of this congregation along our, all our ways and empower us to serve Christ in sincerity and faithfulness. Let us pray. Have mercy on God. 
Almighty and loving God, we look to you in hope and trust, knowing that you will do far more than we can ask or imagine, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Blessing of Communion. The elements of this Holy Communion, this bread and this wine, were consecrated by Pastor Karen in preparation for the sharing of this meal today. She proclaimed, in the night in which he was betrayed, Jesus took the bread. She blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body, broken for you. Eat of it, all of you, in remembrance of me. At that same supper, Jesus took the wine, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Drink this to remember me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this wine, we proclaim our Lord's salvation. Amen. The grapes represent a reminder of Jesus' love for the youngest believers here today. May they begin to see God's love at work in their lives too. As we all prepare to receive these reminders of God's grace in this meal, let us pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is, as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All are welcome at this meal. We will serve at two stations. Gluten-free wafers are available. Request them from your server if you need it. Grape juice is offered for all those who wish it. It is a lighter liquid in the center of each wine tray. If you cannot come forward, the ushers will direct the serving teams to come to you at your request. Come, let us eat, for now the feast is spread.
that you are able. Jesus Christ, host of this meal, you have given us not only this bread and cup, but your very self, that we may feast on your great love. Filled again by these signs of your grace, may we hunger for your reign of justice. May we thirst for your way of peace, for you are Lord evermore. Amen. May God, whose power working us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine, grant you the gifts of faith and hope. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever.